Heiner says, for today's video, you will learn about hyperthyroidism na very suki sa board exam. Kaya let's go. First, we must understand hyperthyroidism. Guys, simple lang. Hyper means sobrang taas. Thyroid hormones ng mga thyroid hormones. Sobrang taas ng pag-produce ng mga thyroid hormones. So first of all, saan pagaling yung mga thyroid hormones na yan? Okay. Yung thyroid hormones natin, guys, is galing sila sa thyroid gland. Saan makikita yung thyroid gland? Sa cavite. Charot. Okay, yung thyroid gland natin is located at the base of our neck under the larynx. So, it is a butterfly-shaped gland. Tingnan nyo naman, guys. Mukha siyang butterfly, di ba? On both sides of the trachea. So, yung thyroid gland natin, it releases the two thyroid hormones. Ano ba yan? T3 and T4. T3 stands for the thyronine or the thyrodothyronine. And then T4 naman is for thyroxine. Tandaan to guys ha, because these are very important na hormones. So ano ba yung function ng T3 and T4 na yan? Very simple lang. T3 and T4, mainly three yung um, purpose nila. Number one, we have the movement, para siya sa movement. Number two is for metabolism. And number three is for the mental function. Again, T3 and T4 is for movement, metabolism, and mental function. Isa-isa yun natin to, guys. Kasi once we understand yung functions ng mga hormones na to, it will be easier for us to understand yung mga symptoms of the disease. So again, it's movement, metabolism, and mental function. Proceed na tayo sa signs and symptoms. The signs and symptoms of hyperthyroidism that is related to movement is, number one, shaky ako. Okay, so patients with hyperthyroidism, they experience a lot of tremors. So nagtitremor sila, guys. That is the number one sign related to movement. Number two, they can't sleep. Ayoko makatulog because most patients, they suffer from insomnia. Insomnia to guys, ha? bakit nakalagay to increased appetite? That is insomnia. Okay? Insomnia yan. Paano ko siya ma-edit? Hindi ko na lang siya ma-edit, pero insomnia yan guys, because I can't sleep, di ba? Then also, tachycardia can happen. Tachycardia is the excessive movement of the heart, excessive beating of the heart, usually over 100 beats per minute. And it may cause arrhythmias or nasisira yung rhythm ng heart which is very delicado, guys. Also, in relation to movement, patients will experience weakness, body weakness. Due to, sa so sobrang ka-movement na katawan, sa so sobrang ka-stimulated na katawan, of course, yung body natin is nagiging weak siya. Okay? Very easy lang. Next, signs and symptoms related to metabolism. Number one, heat sensitivity. Tingnan nyo guys, the patient would always reklamo like, oh my gosh, it's too hot. Sobrang init kahit summer. Kahit summer, sobrang nainitan sila. Hindi, tama naman every summer mainit talaga. Mali yung explanation ko. Too hot even in winter seasons or even in cold seasons. Naiinitan sila. So that is a sign of hyperthyroidism. Number two, they are too hungry like palagi silang nagugutom kasi sobrang increase yung appetite nila kasi yung metabolism nila sobrang mabilis. Next, there are also terms as banyo queen and banyo kings because of excessive bowel changes. Nagkakaroon sila ng diarrhea kasi sobrang bilis na kanilang metabolism. And of course, dahil mabilis ang kanilang metabolism, guys, they are always skinny. Moderate to severe, severe weight loss yung symptoms nila. Next, signs and symptoms related to mental function. Number one, increased anxiety. I feel nervous. Grabe yung nervous nila dahil sa anxiety na yan because of the excessive amount of thyroid hormones na bibilis din yung function ng brain nila. Kaya nagkakaroon sila ng imbalanced na anxiety. Number two, they sweat too much. No? Nagkakaroon sila ng sweating Hindi ko na naman na-change dito, but sweating yan, guys. Diaphoresis due to excessive activities sa mental. Next is depression. Bakit laging increased appetite to? 
potential nurses, mali-mali yung mga nalagay ko dito, but understand your depression leads to Usually, patients are overwhelmed. Kaya nagde-depress sila due to ano din, excessive use of their energy. Parang ganon. Other signs and symptoms na very common for hyperthyroidism. We have number one, exophthalmos or the bulging of the eyes. Nagbabulge yung eyes nila guys. So this is very common. At siguro ito yung parang, ano tawag doon? Parang hallmark sign of hyperthyroidism, nagkakaroon na exophthalmos or the bulging of the eyes. Next is hypertension due to increased thyroid hormones. Siyempre, tataas din yung metabolism at tataas din yung activity ng heart, thereby increasing the blood pressure. Next is syncope. Syncope is the medical term for fainting or medyo, ano ka, nalipong or sa Tagalog, nahimatay. No? That's syncope. Of course, very prominent yung kanilang thyroid gland area. So, nagkakaroon ng enlarged or minsan sinasabing goiter, pero not all goiters are thyroidism, di ba? But sometimes, dito yon, may enlargement dito. And also, kung severe na masyado yung hyperthyroidism, guys, it will lead to thiamine deficiency. Thiamine, thiamine, vitamin B1 yan. Okay? So, nagkakaroon ng deficiency dito because of the too much production na didiplete yung thiamine. And this is the most problematic na symptom ng hyperthyroidism. is nagkakaroon ng thyroid storm. Ito yung pinakaayaw natin mangyari, guys. This is an emergency case. Yung thyroid storm wherein yung patient naka-experience ng excessive amount of thyroid hormones which leads to severe symptoms. Pinakadelikado to guys, and ito yung dapat natin i-avoid sa pasyente. That's why kailangan natin silang i-monitor. So what are the nursing management for hyperthyroidism? Number one, i-relate natin siya guys sa mga symptoms ng pasyente. Of course, dahil mabilis ang metabolism guys, always natin tingnan yung kanilang weight at yung diet nila. Diba? Simple lang, based sa mga symptoms as nurses, we always take care of the symptoms. So, ano yung management natin? Number one, weigh the patient daily. Ang general rule for weighing the patient is dapat the same clothes at the same time. Usually before meals yan. So, the same clothes at the same time. Para na, talaga matatrack natin na may changes sa kanyang weight. It's either good or bad para at least ma-refer natin agad sa doctor. Number two, diet. Diet should be iron-rich kasi nga, di ba, may mga thiamine deficiency na yung pasyente. So, kailangan na natin siya i-feed ng mga iron-rich foods, low in iodine kasi sobrahan na yan sa iodine. Kung magkaroon ng thyroid, um, excessive thyroid hormones sa katawan, tataas din yung iodine. So, hindi na siya kailangan. Kailangan lower lang ng mga iodine. Then, of course, dahil mataas yung energy niya pasyente, yung energy expenditure niya, yung kanyang metabolism, kailangan siya ng mga carbohydrates, yung mga carbohydrate-rich na foods. Then, we must always auscultate for health sounds and activity. Kailangan natin silang i-assess because, di ba, apektado yung heart. Nagkakaroon ng tachycardia at patient. And heart is the pumping of the blood sa body. Kung wala ang heart case, mamamatay tayo. So we need to monitor the heart activity. Intake and output. Bakit kuya? Because of the excessive sweating and diarrhea. Baka maano si pasyente. Madehydrate because wala na siyang, um, ano tawag dito? Wala ng fluid sa katawan. ba? And then we have to limit activities kasi nga sobrang taas ng um, metabolism ng patient nagsisyncope pa si patient, nagpifaint siya, tsaka meron siya mga heart activities, dysrhythmias. So, kailangan limited yung activity niya. Huwag siya masyadong tayo ng tayo. Baka matumba si pasyente and it will lead to another accident. Next, sponge bath, loose clothing, and removing of excessive linens para to sa heat. Sa heat sensitivity. Because di ba nga, naiinitan masyado ang pasyente. So, wala na tayong magawa dyan, guys. So, ano yung gagawin natin? Loose clothing lang. Bigyan siya ng mga sando or avoid natin yung mga jacket kasi nga, mainit na. Tapos, sponge bath para at least kung may fever si pasyente. Ganyan, para 
malesen yung sobrang hit sa katawan. Tsaka, huwag mo na siyang lagyan ng mga kumot-kumot na ganyan kasi uncomfortable na si pasyente. Next, we have the medical management for hyperthyroidism. Medical management, guys, more on doctor's order to, pero dapat familiar tayo as nurses. Number one, the medicine dito is carbimazole to lessen the thyroid hormones, the production of thyroid hormones. Yung medical management natin, guys, syempre, i-understand mo, sobrang dami na nga ng hormones sa katawan. So, ano ibibigay? Syempre, yung medicine na makapag-lower ng production ng mga thyroid hormones. Kasi diba, diba sobrang dami na? So, ganun lang. When you understand the disease, you will understand how to manage them. So, methimazole, tapazole, this is very um, drug of choice. Tsaka propyl thiourazil. That's propyl thiourazil, guys, ha? may L yan. It's an anti-thyroid drug. Ang methimazole, tapazole, is ginagamit siya to lessen the production of thyroid hormones. And you should always watch out for agranulo, agranulocytosis. Agranulocytosis. Pagdami ng walang granules na mga white blood cells. Then also, we need to um, treat the symptoms which is hypertension. Di ba may hypertension si patient? Balikan nga natin. Tandaan nyo guys ako, may mga hypertension na signs and symptoms. As nurses, we take care of the, what do you call these? We call these like symptoms. We take care of the symptoms. So, beta blockers, pag ulol-ulol guys ha, propanolol, atinolol, metropolol, pag ulol-ulol, beta blockers yan for the adrenergic symptoms, which is hypertension. Then, for the diagnostic tests, para ma- malaman natin if meron talagang hyperthyroidism si pasyente, we use a thyroid scan and a radioactive iodine uptake. Ano ba yung thyroid scan? Simple lang, guys. Papainumin siya ng radioactive na iodine, tapos may iti-check is a scan using a camera. ba? Diba? Same sila ng principle ni radioactive iodine uptake. From the name itself, excuse me, um, you will swallow iodine. Tapos, para malalaman natin kung ilan ba yung na-uptake, no? Kasi di ba sabi ko, when the thyroid hormones are increasing, mas madami yung uptake nila ng iodine na nagsistay sa body. So, malalaman dito within 24 hours. So, gumagamit ng gamma probe when we do radioactive iodine uptake. Gamma probe. So, nilalagay dito. So, kuya, for 24 hours ba ilalagay dito? No. From the third from the start lang. For example, you 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 uptake, you take the iodine, tapos is a scan siya. Then after 24 hours, is scan siya ulit para makita if there is changes sa iodine uptake. At kung mas maraming na uptake na iodine, it means meron kang hyperthyroidism. And that's it, nurses. Very simple lang. I hope you guys learned something new for this video and make sure to like, share and Comment yun dito guys si mga gusto nyo pang malaman in the future. Bye! Hi, nurse! <laughs> Is it...